Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, whatever it is for you. Welcome back to another Division 2 video. My name is Prime and today we're going to talk about all the named gear or blueprints that are within the Descent a game mode. And I'm going to talk a little bit how to unlock it because there is a lot of confusion around how to unlock these named blueprints. I got a lot of questions underneath my last video so i will answer a couple of questions and i will give you a quick rundown how to obtain this named uh, blueprints so the named blueprints are within the descent a uh, game mode and you have to defeat the nemesis probably you are a little bit more skilled and you can take out the nemesis now a solo especially solo it's a lot easier than teaming up because the teams that scaling is pretty crazy for the nemesis so if I can give you a tip, go for solo gameplay. It is pretty doable within an hour, an hour and a half if you just go to the easiest floors and then take out your nemesis. Whenever you took out the nemesis, there is a chance that you get a reconstructed cache. And this is the biggest problem in my opinion because it's not a guaranteed drop of the reconstructed caches. Every time that you get a reconstructed cache, it is a guaranteed drop for a named a blueprint but it doesn't pop up on your screen right in your face if you open it up it pops up a named item or an item jumps out and then you need to look to your left where all the materials are always at if you deconstruct gear you will see that you will get some materials they're always on the left corner and there you can see that you got a named a blueprint if you just skipped over it and you didn't see it, you can just walk back to your crafting bench and you can see there is an exclamation mark and that will tell you that you have a new blueprint. So make sure that after you opened up a reconstructed cache and you didn't see anything pop up, walk to your crafting bench and inspect what kind of named blueprint you got. So that's the only problem. We need to defeat the nemesis for it and it's not a guaranteed drop i tried a bunch of different tactics out i went to the first floor jumped out second floor jumped out third floor jumped out you know all those loops i tried to jump out after certain rooms after certain loops every time before i reached the nemesis and none of those times i got a reconstructed cache so I tried it out like eight or ten times, so maybe I'm very, very unlucky. So let me know in the comments down below if you got a reconstructed cache before defeating the nemesis. But for me, I'm 99.9% .9 sure that you need to defeat the nemesis before you have a chance to get that reconstructed cache. So again, defeat the nemesis and then you have a chance to get that reconstructed cache. So now you know how it works, how to get those reconstructed caches, how to obtain your named uh, blueprints for weapons and or for gear, everything is randomized. So now let's talk about the gear pieces that are in the named blueprint pool, as there are a few DZ exclusive, just like we had with the weapons. So let's start with the backpacks, and there are a total of five backpacks and five chest pieces that we can get. There are no masks, there are no holsters, there are no gloves. These are the only named blueprints that are in here. Maybe Maybe in the future they're gonna add a little bit more we don't know the devs didn't talk about it so if you were looking for that hollow man mask it's not in here there are only backpacks and there are only chest pieces so let's start with the backpacks and these are the battery pack the door kickers knock the devil's do the everyday carrier and at last the matador yes you can get a blueprint from the matador so you can craft it it's one of the best additions to this named blueprints for gear then of course so let's jump over to the chest pieces that we can get that named a blueprint from starting with the caesar's guard the chain killer the force multiplier the liquid engineer and at last the sacrifice yes these are the blueprints that we can form for within descent and i like that there are dz exclusives in the blueprint loot pool of course not every 
DZ exclusives in here, like I talked about before. If you're looking for the Hollow Man mask, it's not in here. If you're looking for the gift backpack, it's not in here. These 10 different gear items will be in the game. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for today. Of course, I gave you my opinion about these blueprints and I would love to know yours. So let me know your opinion down in the comments below. Do we like the way to obtain named blueprints? Do we like that there are DZ exclusive blueprints in this loop pool because we're doing a PvE mode? Or what is your thoughts? Let me know in the comments down below. But you are a freaking legend if you're still here. At the end, I appreciate you. Make sure to hit that subscribe button if you're new here. Or of course, you want to be up to date about the Division 2 and the whole Division universe. And of course, if you like this video and helped you out in any way or form, like this video. It helps me out tremendously within the YouTube algorithm. And of course, lets me know if you, the community, likes this type of video. But that's it for me. I will see you in the next video. Pure Prime out.